Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a couple of ways to cite a source using Noodle Tools. First things first, you'll need to log in to Noodle Tools using the Microsoft 365 option and your CMCC email address and password. If you're already signed into Brightspace, you will automatically be logged into Noodle Tools. Now you can either add sources to an existing project or create a new one. For this video, we're going to create a new project. Name the project and choose the citation style. Your teacher will tell you which one to use and always choose the advanced option then click submit. Now click on the title of your new project to select it on the project screen. Now we can start adding sources. There are two methods. Method one is to add a source manual. Start by clicking on the new source button at the top right of the screen. Select the kind of source. So database, website, print in hand means book or magazine. Then there's view and heard live, which means class presentations, interviews, things you saw or heard. Then there's the file, app, and ebook option. I'm going to choose print in hand. This brings up an entire new menu of specifics. Since my source is a book, I'm going to choose book from the list. Now I can fill in all the boxes I have information for from the book, or I can enter the ISBN number and hit the search button to fill in the information automatically. The thing to keep track of though, is if you choose the ISBN search option, you may have multiple editions to choose from. So be sure to choose the edition that matches your book. Otherwise, you'll have an incorrect citation. I'm going to choose to enter the information manual. Fields that appear to be filled in will change depending on your source. Once I hit save, you can see that the source has been added to my list. Method two is great for articles you find in the college's databases. I'm going to find an article in the database, in this case, ProQuest, related to my talk. Once I find an article I want to use, I'm going to hit the cite button and then click on the Noodle Tools options. Continue. Now I see a screen that lets me review the citation and I have the option to correct any errors I see and select the project I want to send it to. Since I did not see any errors and it is already going to the correct project, I'm going to hit the Import References button. Now, if I go back to my Noodle Tools tab and hit the Browser's Refresh button, the little circle arrow, presto, my source appears ready for inclusion in my paper. You can add as many or as few sources as you like. Once you have all the sources you want to use, hit the print icon and choose Print Export to Word. Now you can choose to include all or just some of your sources. I want to include them all, so I hit the Submit button and Noodle Tools will create a work cited or reference page for me. Now the page will appear at the bottom of my browser to open. The document may appear at the top of the screen, depending which browser you're using. It is also saved to my downloads folder. Opening it, I can see that I have my references page ready for copying into my research paper or just to print it out. If you have any problems, please contact the Learning Commons staff or the writing tutors for assistance. That's all for now. See you next time.